Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Saturday, July the 22nd. We're into summer and I'm just down here at Toronto Harbour Front. I'm just checking to see what kind of marine and uh, air activity we have. So I've got um, my laptop here and I'm looking at SDR Angel. You can see there's a lot of AIS activity on there. We'll look at ADSB in a minute and there's a receiving setup. I've just got a simple RTL and uh, a one meter vertical whip. So we're just looking at the uh, AIS here on SDR Angel. So I'm in, I've got three workspaces set up. So workspace zero is where I've got my receiver and my receiver's tuned to 162 megahertz. And then I have two AIS mods, one for 87B, which is set at minus 25 kilohertz from 162. So that'd be uh, one, I guess, 61.975. And then I've got the other one at 87, 88B. Uh, which is set at plus 25 kilohertz. Uh, we can see that we've got a lot of activity here. If you go back to workspace zero there, you can see um, the uh, GMSK pulses there uh, on both channels. And there's a lot of activity. And then on the map here, there's uh, a lot. I'm located uh, down here in this area here, around here. And you can see that there's a lot of stuff here. The SDR Angel is very, very sensitive. And uh, I'm simultaneously looking at my contacts on there. Sorry, this is uh, OpenCPN. We're looking at OpenCPN. And uh, we can see all the contacts there. There's No Bad Day, Lovely, Copentina, Salted Rim. I guess they're in the National Yacht Club there. And uh, this is near the uh, main harbor front area. So we're going to switch over and see what the ADSB activity is like. Okay, so I've switched over to ADSB. A quick way of doing it is under preferences and configurations. I have all sorts of configurations set up for every uh, type of use here. So you can just uh, use that to preset everything. So I'm looking at ADSB on workspace zero. My receiver's tuned to 1090 megahertz. And I've got an ADSB demodulator. You can see that there's a lot of uh, activity there. And you can see there's a lot of pulses at 1090. And when we go over to the map, uh, there, you go. there you see all the uh, various planes flying around the Toronto Island Airport. So there's uh, lots of activity. If I had um, two RTLs with me, then we could look at the AIS and the uh, ADSB simultaneously on the same map, but I'm just switching over from one to the other because I've only got one RTL. Clicking on either one of these things gives you the full detail of the uh, particular uh